What's going on y'all? We are out here today heading back out to the train bridge. Got that bridge right out there in the distance. It has been foggy as trap lately, but we're gonna get out here, try to catch us some fish. We got a ton of good bait right there. Awesome little fiddler crab. So let's head out here, see if we can get on some fish. All right, pulling up on the bridge now. Go ahead and rig up a crab. I'm gonna start around the channel right here where you got these kind of walls that kind of mark the channel coming through here. It's the deepest part. I feel like there's a ton of structure down there or a ton of barnacles and oysters and stuff like that. I feel like these sheep's head are probably gonna be laying down in some of the deeper water. This also funnels the most current. So I'm gonna start here and if we're not getting any bites, we'll just start moving on down the pylons till we locate some fish. All right, first drop going down. See if we can find them. <clears throat> We're on. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a good one. He's staying down. That's a giant. I got a feeling that's not going to be a sheep's head. If it is, it is an absolute stud. There it goes. Come on. Be a sheep. Come up. Come up, let me see you. As a giant fish, y'all. Come here. First fish of the day, and it is a stud. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. I can see my leader. Be a sheep's head. Be a sheep's head. There are some absolute giants out here, so. You can't rule that out, but I'm leaning towards Black Drum right now. Come on. Big old Black Drum. Dang it. Still an awesome catch. <laughs> Just not the targeted species. I was hoping it was going to be a stud of a sheep's head. And instead, it's a stud of a Black Drum. Come here, girl. Give up. I don't even know if she even knows she's hooked yet. Cause she didn't she didn't give me any crazy runs like a fish this size should. I mean you never know what you're gonna catch out here on these bridges. There's all kinds of life. You can catch anything from flounder and speckled trout to black drum and sheep's head, bull reds. It's all out here. And this is a stud of a fish, y'all. Oh my God. I cannot believe a fish this size did not have some hard runs. I mean, staying down under me, yes, but you would think a fish this size would just be pill of drag, you know? Oh, girl's tired. What a fish. Holy moly, if you're gonna catch a first fish, this is the one to do it. Y'all, look at that. Look at that fish. I'm gonna put the old grips on her. I'm gonna give y'all a glimpse of her, show her to y'all, and I'm gonna let her go. Now, we're not keeping any fish today. Come here. All right, now, when you're sitting here and you're picking these black drum up, this is very, very important, y'all. Never twist that fish grip sideways because you're gonna break the jaw of that fish. Always pick straight up and down on that fish, just like that. <clears throat> Look at this big old girl right here. Ah. That is a big old fish. <clears throat> giant, giant fish. Let's go ahead and get her in the water. Get a good release on her. Bye bye. See ya. Whoo! What a doggone way to kick off the day. That was incredible. We're out here looking for sheep's head. But, I mean, those are just 
some awesome, awesome fights. At first I was like, dang, because I am fishing a sheep's head tournament right now, fishing the Convict Classic, and uh, I'm trying to beat Captain Collier. He's in first place right now. If y'all don't know Captain Collier, check out his channel. Dude is a heck of a fisherman. But I'm chasing him right now, and uh, I thought I had a stud sheep's head on. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna drop back down. We're gonna find us some sheep's head today. All right, let's try this again. He's got it, he's got it. Come on, take it. They're biting so soft today. He got it. There he is, there he is. Oh no, come here. Now that's feeling like a sheep's head. Maybe, maybe not. Whoo, my goodness. Man, he bit just like a sheep's head. I think that was a giant sheep's head. He broke me. Golly. Man. All right, we are re-rigged. Got to get some of them big fish. We already caught one big fish. And I'm telling you, I don't know that there's a small fish on this bridge right now because that fish I just missed was massive. Well, other than a few big bites, it has been really, really slow on this bridge right here. So we're gonna go ahead and make a move and try to get on some sheep sets. So we're gonna head over to another bridge. All right, we made it over to this bridge now. See if we can locate some fish. A little bit shallower water. That bridge that I was just on was around 12 feet or so. And I don't think we're gonna see areas deeper than around six foot on this bridge. I have one on. Yep. Oh yeah. Good one. Good one. That's a good sheep's head there. Yes, yeah, stud. Making that move. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Well, we lost them. Uh, right as I was saying, making the move paid off. Oh, we ain't been fishing this area too long. Sitting in five foot of water and just lost about a 21 22 inch sheep said that one's gonna sting just a little bit but uh yeah we're gonna get in here throw some more lines try to pull in a sheep's head and <laughs> try to pull in a sheep's head that i can actually show y'all mm, we got one on there he is uh-uh come here no no that's a good one gotta get out away from the bridge that's a good sheep. No! Dude, there are some studs out here. Come here. Let's go. Get in the net. Not losing that one. Whew! Alright. Finally got a sheep's head to show y'all. Now this one right here is not quite as big as the one we lost, but nevertheless it is a solid fish got to be sitting somewhere between 18 and 19 inches yep that is a 19 inch fish right there all right girl i do appreciate the fight let's say we're not keeping any fish today bye bye Check it out, y'all, real quick. I am trying to get my channel to 40,000 subscribers this year. We are currently at 28. I need all of y'all's help to be able to make that happen. If y'all would, please hit that subscribe button and let's smash our goals in 2023. But let's get back in here, throw out some more baits, see if we can't stick some 2021, maybe even some 22 inch sheep's head. Oh, we got one on. There he is. Good one. Good fish. Good fish. Come here. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a stud. Drive him away from the bridge real quick. That is a giant one, y'all. Oh, yeah. Doggone 22-inch fish. Don't lose this one, Nate. Oh, Oh yeah, y'all look at that fish. 
What a stud, man. Pop that old hook out your mouth, buddy. All right, we're gonna put you back in the water, I promise. Just gonna show you off real quick. Y'all, look at that one, man. My goodness, these guys are so fat. I mean, they are just full. Real quick measurement, I'm gonna let this girl go. 21, 21 and a half, y'all. Look at that one. My goodness. 21 and a half inch stud sheep's head, y'all. I gotta get a picture of the release. <laughs> what a doggone fish, man. I thought it was gonna be so much longer because of how thick that thing was, but my goodness, man. If we can get in here and get a couple more of those, that would just be icing on the cake. I mean, it's already a good day. We've caught some good fish, missed some good fish, but they are, they're out here. I mean, there's 22s, 23s, maybe even a 24 lurking around here somewhere. So we're gonna see if we can't find them. So the setup that I'm out here using today, this is a point blank rod that I made myself. I custom make rods, or at least I used to, but yeah, I made this rod um, and I got that paired up with a Pin Convict 3000 with 20 pound suffix 832 braid to 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and then i got a couple of number two split shot weights and a number one gamakatsu hook that's the setup that i really love for anything sheep's head um it just works really well i typically have a decent hookup ratio especially with these gamakatsu hooks they are my favorite but yeah about to drop a crab back down try to pick up another fish Oh, he's on. There he is. There he is. Another good one. Oh, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, get me around the pylon. Don't fight him. He's on the backside. There we go. There we go, he popped loose. <clears throat> Come here. Be another sheep's head, I think it is. Oh my God, it's a stud. It's another stud. Whew, that one knew what it was doing trying to get me around that piling. Come here, buddy. All right, let's go. Let's go, y'all. We are on them now. All right, there she is. Not as big as the last one, probably about a 19 inch, but this one looking a little crazy. I don't think I've seen a sheep's head with green around its nose. Have y'all seen that before? Y'all comment below. Have you ever seen a sheep's head with like a gold, greenish gold nose? That is crazy. I'm on a board and let her go. Yep, yeah, that's another one. 18 and a half. All right, girl, I do appreciate the bite. See ya. <sighs> y'all. It is so much fun coming out here, catching these sheep's head. I put out content like this all the time, but I got some really special content planned for y'all. If y'all get this video to 1000 likes, I will come out here and use something you have never seen used before to catch these sheep's head. Just get this video to 1000 likes and we'll do that. There he is. There he is. Mm, got him. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Come here. Uh-uh. That's another big one. That's another big one. Had some really, really good digs. Come here. All right. Man, he just had some strength on him. He ain't that good. Still, I mean, it is a good one. Just not a giant. I'm sure I made y'all believe I had a giant. All right. Whew. Nice sheep's head right there. Go ahead and let you go, buddy. Bye-bye. So much fun coming out here and doing this. So much fun. All right, so I talked about my setup a little bit early on, but I'd love to know from y'all, 
what is your favorite setup for targeting sheep's head or just bridge fishing in general i know there's a whole lot of different thoughts and theories on the best rigs and best setups and that's probably one of the number one things commented in the videos is you know every time i get a break off or something like that people critique me on my setup and i just feel like when you get to fishing around bridges break offs are a part of it i don't care what kind of setup you have you know the, these pylons are sharp there's a lot of barnacles on there and you're just going to get broke off but i am very curious to know what setup do y'all use when y'all come out here and do this kind of fishing there he is he's got it <clears throat> he's got it <clears throat> Oh, dang it. I think that was a good one. Oh, he's got it. Come on, eat it. Yeah, there he is. Mm. Oh. Is that a fish? I don't know. It is a fish. Man, such a light bite. He's on too. Mm. Oh shit. Oh no. All right, all right. That's how it be sometimes. He got me around the backside of that pylon and just destroyed me. Let's try that again. Maybe this time we won't get wrapped around a pylon. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Mm. Mm -mm. Come here. Come back through these pylons. Come back through these pylons. Let go. Mm -mm. Come back through. Open the bell. Just open the bell, Nate. I can feel the pylon. Golly. Open the bell. All right, let's get around it. Any day now. Any day. All right. Let's see, where is he at? He's still hooked. I just don't know where he's at. We got him. We got him. There we go. Mm, he's staying down. That might be a really good one. Woo. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good sheep. Yes. Giant. Giant. That's how you play him out. I had to open that bell. Yes. Look at that one. Look at that doggone fish. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Boom. That was so crazy so crazy i had to play that thing out open my bell get around the piling oh my goodness what a giant let's go oh my god that is a good one y'all we almost never got to see him when i was trying to fight him through those pylons i couldn't really tell his size i just know i couldn't i couldn't get him through it oh my goodness we're going to have to change our leader out after that one. Y'all, look at that stud sheep's head right there. I mean, just as fat as can be. Put her on the board. 20 incher. Man, I thought she was going to be much larger than that. Still a really, really good fish. Just how fat these guys are right now is throwing me off a little bit. And this one was really, really dark in color, which is also a sign of big, big sheep's head. Which don't get me wrong, 20 and three quarters, that is a big sheep's head. This is a good one. All right. I am so thankful that I get to release this girl right here. Somebody else gets to catch her another day. What a catch. What a catch. And what makes that so awesome 
is what we had to go through to be able to get that fish. I mean, just incredible. But well, y'all, I had a great day out here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We did catch some really nice fish and I'm glad that I got to show y'all that. If y'all would, hit the like button if you liked the video, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.